Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Happy Thursday to everyone out there and I hope your morning is off to a great start. I wanted to kick off the show today with a question that I don't actually have an answer to you. Do you think we'll see Hadi Shubin in Orlando three weeks from now? According to Dan Solomon, the conversation he hears about Hottie flying to the US is positive. And for the most part, we've heard a lot of the same sentiments echoed by Hottie's team on social media over the last few weeks, which seems like a good sign. As the reigning people's champ, it would be a huge loss for the contest if Hottie isn't able to make it this year. So let's all cross our fingers and hope things keep trending in the right direction. The Olympia stage is the place where all the best bodybuilders in the world are supposed to have a chance to compete, and it wouldn't seem right if we were missing one of the most dynamic talents that the sport has to offer. In sports, usually you have two options. Either you attack your opponent's weaknesses and see if they're good enough to counter, or you play to your strengths and see if they're good enough to keep up. And so, for a whole one show into his pro career, Peter Molnar is doing a pretty good job of doubling down on his strengths and daring everyone else to keep up. A few days ago, the Molnar camp released a video of Peter pushing through an arm workout that highlighted why he's one of the most exciting athletes in the classic physique division. As we said a few weeks ago, he's the only athlete in history, as far as I know, of the division to win his pro card and his pro debut all in the same weekend, which tells you everything you need to know about how dangerous he is. This division is absolutely loaded with talent from top to bottom. But Peter Molnar might be someone who has the ability to step in and be a game changer from day one. Bodybuilding is a what have you done for me lately type of sport. That means what you did last year or last month or last week doesn't matter. We're talking about today, right here, right now. Show up and show me what you got. And when what you've got is better than what you had, it usually means someone else is in for a long night. But when that someone else also happens to be one of your best friends, who also happens to be the reigning Olympia champ, it adds another layer of intrigue to one of the most intriguing stories of the year. In some respects, I think that extra layer between Andre Ferguson and Ray Edmonds is one of the things that pushed these two to become the most elite athletes in the men's physique division. But once they hit that stage, I think the whole friendship thing goes out the window. Because at this point, all bets are officially off. As the legendary Vince Lombardi once said, it's not about how you start, it's all about how you finish. And if I were everyone in the 212 division, I'd be keeping both eyes glued to how Ahmad Ashkenani finishes out these next three weeks. Last Sunday, the Ashkenani camp released their only official progress photo of the entire Olympia prep, and you can almost feel the energy of the entire division start to shift once those photos started circulating. This is the Ahmad we all remember from a few years ago when he was winning the Arnold Classic and everyone had him pegged as the heir apparent to Flex Lewis's Olympia throne. So if he finishes hard down the home stretch, we could possibly be looking at one of the most competitive top five groups that we've ever had in the history of the 212 division. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.